Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So I got a quick Monday video for you today. We're going to be carrying these grim survival cards at CanadianPreparedness.com. I'm going to be actually doing a dedicated review on these at some point in time. Now, Grim Survival also makes this other card that I'm not going to be selling because, as for reasons I'm going to explain in this video, I'm not sure how practical it is. But it's pretty neat and it's pretty cool because if you were ever in a disaster scenario and you needed cordage and you had a lot of 2 liter bottles, this allows you to harvest it very quickly. And so what it is, basically, it's just a card, as I'll show you here, a steel, stainless steel card. Let's see if we can get it focused there. And there's some screws on there and there's a razor blade. And it's set up so that you can quickly turn this into something like this, cordage, right? Now, the cordage is reasonable strength. Probably, if you used enough of it, it would secure a shelter in place on a windy day but let's just uh, show you how it works here so it's a little hard to get going so I may have to give it a couple tries I'm not an expert at this yet like the owner is now from what I recall something to the effect of I think we're pulling like that as it comes out it's not gonna work otherwise it gets derailed there we go. It's taken me a few runs, I'm not gonna lie. Getting it going is kind of a pain in the ass. All right, so let's try this again. Had a little bit of technical difficulties there. It's really hard to get going if you don't know what you're doing. It's not that hard, it's just doing it in frame of camera is challenging. Bushcraft for the post-apocalyptic, post-plastic future. Ever find yourself in the middle of the ocean in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? You need to reinforce your raft this is how you do it but it only works if you have your cordage card getting close to the end now there we go ah, that was reasonable so we got a little bit of cordage here how about that hey it's like a big slinky yeah, you know, um, it's kind of cool. I mean, obviously, if you use several strands, it's going to be really strong stuff. The problem I have is just, I can't foresee you being in a situation where you have this and you need it. I mean, imagine that the type of situation, maybe if your plane went down and there was a bunch of pop bottles around that you know you found in the rubble but you couldn't find cordage maybe if you had your card you could build yourself a shelter like i say it's cool i just i don't know if it's something i'm going to get behind and endorse but as for grim's other cards man these are pretty darn cool i would encourage you to go check them out these are the ones i'm carrying the arrow card the tool card i'm going to talk a bit more about that the fishing card and the sewing card these are the ones i'm going to be carrying go check them out canadianpreparedness.com and yeah this cordage well let's just see how strong one strand is it's probably not going to be that strong for one strand i don't know what the breaking strength is going to be I, there's no really way to measure it i guess you could measure it using a fishing scale or something like that no uh, that's actually pretty strong stuff jeez i spoke too soon so a uh, guy of relatively good strength, I'd say. 
And I can't break that sucker. Holy shit, that is strong stuff. Now this stuff is actually pretty strong. I'm a guy who's of reasonable strength. And uh, this stuff is hard to break. I mean, you have to put some really dynamic tension on it to break it. And it's going to end up cutting into my hand before I can actually break it. So it's got very strong, very strong stuff. Cut myself there. If all you have is a razor or if you just have a pair of scissors, you could make this stuff yourself. You don't need the card necessarily. You know, you could just do that. And you have the exact same results. I think Survival Lily may have made a video about this at one point. I'm sure a lot of people have. I think it's a pretty well-known concept. So There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out the Grim Survival Cards, CanadianPreparedness.com. See you soon.